Hello, hello, and welcome into some Let's Stream Civ 6, part 2 of our A to V deity challenge. So we'll be playing as Catherine Medici, second on the list, alphabetically speaking. And in theory, we would like to go for a cultural victory. It's a very difficult task on deity. Uh, it takes about three to four hundred turns, and ultimately, that's not super doable. What may make it doable is that we do get an extra spy, so we can sabotage uh, spaceports, which is pretty much how your opponent's going to win around like turn 250, 300. Um, and we may be able to snag a mid-game wonder that would help us. Uh, Hermitage, probably, is one that comes to mind. Having the diplomatic visibility, I don't know, maybe remaining peaceful, it's an interesting strategy. We're typically not good at that. Um, Full disclosure, this is our second attempt at Catherine. We we were a little aggro in the last game, and uh, it it went poorly. So we're, we decided to to commit to a better start um, just so that we can get some good videos out of it. Um, the Chateau is interesting. It's going to give us some extra culture, um, plus one gold if we're next to a luxury resource. Um, I mean, I don't really like tile improvements that much, uh, but it might help us get some some culture generation. So that's a thing. Um, and then if we can get the wonders, maybe maybe having the tourism, uh, having the extra tourism could help win quicker. Um, but it's pretty tough. Pretty tough to go for a cultural victory on the deity level right now. Um, it was pretty, pretty doable. I've done it with like Congo and Brazil, um, but that was pre-spring update. Spring update seems to have given the AI a more specific path towards victory. So, but we'll give it a shot. We will give it a shot. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Sorry. Now begins your greatest quest from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. It falls to you, Catherine de' Medici, to use your gifts of knowledge and of the arts to unite your people. Steer carefully through these troubled times, Queen Mother of France. You will build great wonders, drawing visitors from all corners of the earth. With your keen awareness of all things, both those seen and those hidden in the shadows, your empire will certainly stand the test of time. Alrighty, so let's let's get started. Um, her her melee unit is pretty late, not not essentially a good a good one. Um, all right, so this looks somewhat similar to the last game that we uh, failed at. It is a very vulnerable capital, extremely vulnerable. Um, yes, we have double river but no hill, and eventually this needs to get cleared, and you put farms there, so they have two paths into your base. It's a very, very vulnerable capital. I don't like that at all. Guess we're gonna go here so we can cross the river next. Um, part of me would move down towards the cattle. It's just so wide open. We have no defense at all. If we move here, we could we could go here, and that's technically not really more defensible, right? But we we at least get some rough terrain to to station units in initially. Some really 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 poor production from our capital here. I really don't like it. What if we just move towards the mountain? Wow. Wow, I do not like it. No great tiles to start with. What if we move here? Is that better? What if we make this move? 
we get we get some better uh, production tiles. This is going to be a a plains mine. What about moving here? I think we're moving. I think we're moving, and I'm gonna force myself to play this because we already we already restarted once. I think I like moving across the river. All right, this gives us options. So if we take this move, and we see more tiles that we like, we could either move here, or there and found. So this this gives us the option for either. Of course, we moved away with our warrior, so that's not super great. Um, I was gonna cross the river. All right. I think we move here. We know we'll have a hill. You really just need the hills long term, though. This is such a delayed start. It's really bad. That gives us a lot of information, though. Actually, there's a wonder over there. Yeah, I think we're going to go here. It is not the mountain we conquer. Okay. I actually feel a lot better about this starting city. We have really weak opening tiles, but in the long run, I think it's safer. And we'll get a free Pantheon. To turn four founding though, it's really, really bad. So it definitely wants to work this, but we don't want it to. We want to grow. We're going to have to micro this city. It's going to default into particularly bad tiles. Does our... There's one culture for each adjacent wonder. Is that natural or world? Okay. And then we have to get a slinger. Actually, God, we really need a builder. You still have to start with the slinger. All right, this is a weird, weird start. Not a big fan of it, but we're gonna go after archery as we normally do. Um, now that we know the terrain, what would have been better? So we were here. I think, I don't know, where do we look at more cities? I don't know, it's just a really weird, weird location. All right, but we'll call that uh, video one. So anybody who doesn't want to watch the first part of it doesn't have to. And then we can just get into the gameplay in the next one. So quick restart. We'll be right back.